This video lecture is on the technical mathematics subject of operations with complex numbers. This is one video in a series that deal with complex numbers. This particular video is the second um, pair of videos with operations of complex numbers. So the first video lecture of operations deals with addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And this video uh, will deal with division and raising to a power. So are you ready to get started? Okay, let's start with division. Now again, in this video, we're going to go through all three formats. Rectangular format, which you remember was A plus BJ. The polar format, which was um, RCIS theta. And the exponential format, which was RE theta J. And that theta was in radians. So let's get started. On the rectangular format, you need to multiply by the conjugate. We covered this in one of the early videos, but I will remind you. The conjugate of 3 plus j changes the symbol. So the conjugate is 3 minus j. We need to multiply this first uh, rectangular format by the conjugate. All right, now we're going to do the same thing that we did earlier with multiplication. This now becomes a multiplication problem, uh, only we're kind of transfer area here. We've got uh, my smiley face, 15J, and we've got my outside smiley face with negative 9J. Yes, I am cramped for a position here. So that's going to end up, I'm just going to put it over here, 6j, that's the middle one. Okay, my eyebrow, 9 times 3 should be 27. And 5j, my second eyebrow, these are kind of upside down, aren't they? Smiley faces on the, on the top. Does that mean they're frowny faces? Oh, I don't know. Well, let's not go there. 5j times negative j is a negative 5j squared. So let's write that out. 27 clear so we can see it. 6j minus 5j squared. That's what the top turns out to be. Now we have to multiply the bottom. Remember, uh, oh boy, I don't know if you remember this or not. I barely remember it myself. When multiplying uh, the difference um, of squares, they, it comes out the difference of squares when you have a plus j and a minus j. So it ends up that we end up with 3 times 3, which is 9, and j times negative j, this is negative j squared. If you understand the difference of squares, you'll notice that the inside term drops out. So this is what we've got on the bottom. All right, we're going to rewrite it. We know that this is negative 5, and j squared is negative 1 again. So we've got 27 plus 5, 27 plus 5 is 32, plus 6j, and negative j squared, j squared is negative 1, so 9 minus a negative 1 is 9 plus 1, so on the bottom we've got 10. 
59. Skip to stop a couple steps here, but from the earlier videos, you should be realizing that the j squared is a negative 1, and then we're able to combine these two numbers into our rectangular format. And you can take this a little bit further down if you'd like, to 3.2 plus 0.6j. That way we get rid of that denominator. All right, so that's our rectangular format of division. It's the same thing as a multiplication, except you're multiplying by the conjugate. All right, let's take a look at polar. Now in polar, we're going to divide the r's. So we're going to take 18 and divide it by 5. And then CIS, when we're dividing, we subtract the theta. When we were multiplying, we added the theta. Let's put that degree symbol in there. 35 degrees. Okay, so if I can do this correctly, 18 divided by 5 is, uh, yes, about 3.6. And we've got CIS. And 150 minus 35 should be 115 degrees. So there we have it. That's dividing polar format. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the exponential format. We're going to divide the r's, and we're going to subtract the theta. Now remember that the theta is specified in radians. So let's put this together, 8.5 divided by 2, so we've got our e, and this is 3.4, now we're subtracting 5.3, and we always have that j there. So, let's say 8.5 divided by 2 should be 4.25. And we keep our E. And this should be negative 1.9J. And it's okay to leave that as a negative number. Alright, so that is division of the rectangular format polar format, and the exponential format. Let's get another example and try it one more time. All right. Remember, we multiply by its conjugate. Can you think of the conjugate for 1 plus 2j? Yes, you can. That's right. 1 minus 2j. And as long as we multiply the top, the same as the bottom, we're multiplying by 1, so we are not changing the equation by doing this. Alright, yes, it's smiley faces, or <laughs> actually, yes, they are frowny faces. Here's my other smiley face. Negative 10j. Okay, and down here in the bottom, so let's write this out. 5 times 1 is 5. And what happens when we add 10j and negative 10j? Ah, it drops out. So all we've got is our ending pieces, which is negative, come on, negative 20 j squared. And the on the bottom, this is a difference of squares again, 1 times 1 is 1, p 
2j minus 2j is minus 4j squared. Okay, the j squared equal negative 1. So let's rewrite this as 5, negative 1 times negative 20. It's a positive 20. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. So we've got 1 plus 4, which is 5, which is the same thing as saying 25 over 5, which equals a whole number of 5. Would you have believed it? Here is the division of this rectangular format, and it actually equals 5. Okay, we're feeling pretty good. Let's go on to polar. Remember, we divided the r's and we subtracted the thetas. So, let's give it a go here. 18 divided by 5. GIS. And this is specified in radians just to give us a little variety. Doesn't matter whether it's degrees or radians, you still subtract it. So that gives us 3.6 GIS, 3.52, should be 1.38. Okay, that is our answer for the polar division of this problem. Okay, we're ending up with exponential here. We divide the R's, and that's right, we subtract the thetas. In the exponential, the theta is always specified in radians. Polar, it can be radians or degrees. 6, point, six divided by 4 should be 1.5. Let's keep our E. And we should end up with 0.6j. That is our answer. All right. I've got three down here for you to try. You might want to change this to CIS to make it a little simpler. And then change it back to this format. Okay. Stop the video. Try these. And then check your answers on the website. Okay, ready for the operation of raising to a power. I, ref I refrain from calling this exponent because we've already got the exponent nomenclature here. So we're raising to a power. We're taking uh, 3 raised to the second, okay, which equals 9. So we're going to take the rectangular format and we're going to square it. And we're going to take the polar format and we're going to raise it to a power, maybe three or four. And we're going to take the exponential format and raise it to a three or a four. Or in this case, I can look down and say five. All right, so what do we do with this? Raise to a power. No, four minus three j squared, we can do it just like we did before in rectangular format, 4 minus 3j. Oh boy, it looks like I get to use smiley faces this time instead of brownies. Let's see, negative 12j It's my first smile. Negative 12j is my second smile. That gives me negative 24j. 4 times 4 is 16. And 
my second eyebrow negative three times negative three should be a positive nine j squared. Okay, so we know that j squared is negative one, so we're gonna have negative nine here plus 16 should give us seven. That's a little equal sign here. Seven minus 24j. There's our rectangular format. When we took a complex number and squared it. Okay, let's review now what we do with the polar format. In this case, we are cubing it. Okay. So we're going to take 2.5 and we're going to cube that. Now, we're going to put down our CIS. What are we going to do with this cube and the 118? You're actually going to multiply. So it's three times 118 degrees. So when we're raising to a power, if you rem remember your rules of exponents, when you raise something to a power, you multiplied it. And we're doing the same thing here. So 2.5 cubed, oh boy, 15.625 and we'll keep that CIS, and three times 118 should be, if I've done this correctly, 354 degrees. So there we are. We've cubed the polar format. All right, one more left, exponential. This time, we're raising to the fifth. So we take 7.2 and we raise it to the fifth. Keep our E and we take five times 2.3 and those are J. Okay, so now you're really taxing me here. 7.2 E fifth. Oh boy. Had to do that one on a calculator. 19,349. And that's E and 5 times 2.3. That should be enough. Should be 11.5 J. So there's our exponential raised to the fifth power. Whenever you raise anything to a power, the rectangular, you just multiply it together. When it's squared, uh, the polar, you multiply the degrees by the power. The exponential, you multiply the degrees, which is in radians, by the power. Ready to see our second example? Try and run through it pretty quickly this time. Okay, I've got three plus four J and three plus four J. And my internals are twelve J and again twelve J. Three times three is nine plus 24j, 4 times 4 is 16j squared. Okay, j squared is negative 1, so we have a negative 16, so we're going to end up with negative 7 plus 24j. So there's our second example of squaring a rectangular format. Let's go on to the polar format. Okay. We 
bring that power down and raise R by 10.3. Then I'm going to use our CIS nomenclature to do the problem and come back. And change it back into that format. 3 times 118 degrees. 10.4, oh boy, I've got to break out that calculator again. I'm not that good. 1124.9, and CIS, 3 times 118 degrees is um, 354. Now I can change that back into the original format. 1124.9 COS or cosine 354 plus J sine 354. And don't forget those degree symbols. There we are. So there is our answer in the polar format of taking this complex number and raising it or cubing it. All right, now this slide, I had a little problem here. I just could not get that equation that it would work. So this problem should be raised to the one fourth. Now that's going to be extremely interesting, isn't it? One fourth instead of a whole number. Well, we can do it. We take 16 and we raise it to the one fourth. Then we take E and we take 6 times one fourth. Okay, 16 raised to the 1 fourth makes it very nice for us, is 2, and 6 times 1 fourth should be 6 fourths or 1 and a half J. So I'm going to write that down for you so I didn't skip a step there and leave you out there. Okay, so here is our complex number raised to the 1 fourth, 2e to the 1.5j. There we go. So that's our second example of raising to a power a rectangular complex number, a polar complex number, and an exponential complex number. All right, I left three for you to try. Remember this one? You're just making it into a multiplication problem. This one, you're bringing the 5 down, raising the 2 to the 5th, and multiplying 5 by 1.38. This is in radians again. And the same thing here with exponential. You're raising 4 to the 5th, and you're multiplying 3j by 5. Stop the video and try these, and then look for the answer in the website. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.